friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to the tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in chapter 3 and looking at the topic 3.2 specification based techniques. We are looking into the last topic of this chapter which is just like you know the smallest thing to understand that is combining techniques. The combinations of techniques are when generally we talk about uh, combining techniques it generally means that when you understand several techniques as a part of software testing uh, there is a possibility a scenario may invite two or more techniques to be combined together to get the best output from the scenario or create the most efficient number of test cases out of this uh, combination in a particular scenario that's where we understand combining techniques as having combination of two or more techniques on a particular scenario to come up with the best number of or test cases or uh, probably you say that the best efficient test cases. Uh, it's not limited to only creating the test cases or having a uh, just a uh, sufficient number of test cases. It also means a lot when you try to combine techniques. Uh, in the other sense we can say when you combine techniques it will have a better coverage. It is just not only stronger, it also has a lot of different outputs or input parameters which can be detected with different combination of uh, techniques, which has a better coverage or wider age range of area covered as a part of the technique. Also, it is very important for the test analyst to determine if a combination can happen or not in a particular scenario. Say for example, you need to identify what scenario it is all about, whether the techniques are applicable and will that be helpful to derive the test cases or not. So a test analyst must have enough skill set and enough time to apply those techniques because we do understand similarly when you really add or combine multiple techniques, it is going to take longer than applying one technique. So, of course, the test analyst must uh, understand that what kind of timeline do you have, do you have enough time and skill set to apply certain techniques to get the best output. Though, if it is possible, you probably try with combining techniques and try to have a good number of test cases which will be helpful in coverage as well as determining the quality of the product. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. We'll be getting back to you with the experience-based technique techniques uh, where we will be having error guessing, exploratory and defect-based techniques and so on. So stay tuned for that. Uh, till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding about these contexts. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.